we have one of the Mega Flow float valves here. This is a very nice convenient valve here. Comes in different sizes and different um, different type of float and stuff. This one is the string type one, string type float. It's also the one with the arm attached to it here. This one you do get a proper amount of flow coming out from this float valve here. So we decide to pick up our next one here. So I decided to make a video on it here. So let's make a quick rundown on it here. To the top there, showing you the, the main float here. I'm showing it in use here in our tank here and our farm. And this is a bigger picture of it, of it right here. Basically, same thing as the top to our coating there. And it does have um, a bit in different languages here at the side. Both sides have different languages here. The back of it is where the English is here, behind on this side. And let me bring the valve a little closer here. So it's a little short here, so you might be able to see the string on this one here. But this one is actually the string type one. And also gain you when getting closer here. They're actually giving you the rating here. Um, gallons per minute and how much PSI you get coming out of it here. Even the half inch you're getting a good um, gallons per minute here with just 30 PSI here. If you're getting 30 from the means, you will get at least 25 PSI here. And on about 60, you're getting about uh, 35 here. And the higher up you go in size, which is the Three quarter, the one and the inch and a quarter. Here, yeah, as you can see in the chart, you're able to get much more. So, if you're basically getting at least a 60 psi either from your source location, you know you'll get the best flow. So, if you had to fill up any tanks or anything, it will fill up very fast. If you have um, a buffer tank or anything like that, and you have either the this one here or the next float valve, you know you'll get good flow out of it. The majority of machines maybe four gallons per minute up so even self you have a machine or taking 20 something gallons per minute just the half inch valve alone already passing the the 20 already here on there and that is on a low 30 psi there i'm here to show you um, how to install it here different ways to install so this is it underwater here because it is um, very good constructed here and a design for underwater here so this one you could show you sideways and bottom it could work either or here they show you different ways to locate it and here they show you some instructions how to take it out to reach the filter here so it is just a quarter turn and you could take it out here get to the filter this is a little small filter there and it there and just to reattach it there so here you could see the, the string a little bigger right there on this there compared to the next picture we'll just see the string that well this model here is the three quarter inch model but before I go in here let me go there finish run down at the specs here alright so on the feature section here they say you're getting a unique flow design here for high performance to convenient cord lock to lock off valve, um, you get into the two inch float cord included. I the length of the cord, I believe, is 32 inches. So you will have a good um, a good length there. And four valve detaches with quarter inch turns. That was the same quarter inch that I come out there to easy reach for cleaning and stuff. Five easily accessible filter. So it does have a filter inside for easy maintenance and stuff. And again it out of the arm um, out of the camera here so you can always pause to get a more better view of everything here and six this is multiple inlet sizes available and they're showing you some different sizes and stuff down below there and they're showing you from the long tail and the short tail and the inlet thread size and the five basically in and a five and seven basically giving you a full run down as some other features here which is high flow design flow 50 gallons at 30 psi and uh, with this model i have here the quarter and for underwater mountain only so this is not for surface mountain because it does have a float 
and the float height of the water when it raises up as well will make it um, turn off so you can really put it above the water it does have models for for that as well so don't worry it have those type of models as well non corrosive material as I say so it is designed for under water so you don't need to worry about it dry rotting or getting damaged like that or anything like this and pressure range is from 5 to 150 psi so most people pumps wouldn't really go up to 150 psi so you're supposed to be good there shut down slow to minimize water hammer so for high pressure the, um, the, the float valve itself actually turns out very easy so we don't have to worry about that backlash from the water hammer parts and servicing kit available so if anything looks like a damage maybe filter or anything like that be easy to get parts fit let's finally get inside the box and see what is inside here so right off the back we see the valve here we'll get into the valve a little bit and the show you there's some other things here some other adapters and stuff those are kind of accessories you could get the job valves here many people make those there the number and stuff there and they're showing different tank adapters so you know, let's go through some of them right here so in case you want to see anything you can always pause to get a better better look there so you can use different um, different things so this is the tank ready to right so so always go and visit the website and all and get a perfect rundown of what you need. This is some of the ones with your ball attach. And this is for either above or below water. So actually you have full rundown of that type there and specs. As I say there are different sizes, different shapes, different looks. This ball here circle, this one have a different shape to it here. And it can circle there. And there's a circle ball and it's showing you different gallons above below um, different stems and stuff stick out here so you know you could go and make a choose into whichever one you want and this is the ball fit here the string will need to go through here and actually get tied here so it wouldn't come back out so this float will be floated like this and when it the water fill any time can it raise it will pull the string which will activate the locking mechanism here so the locking mechanism here with the string so when it pull up the force from the string pulling up when it going up it will finally actually lock it off and that is the lock point there so as you can see that the string neatly tie in between here look like when you do have a like when you don't use so much when you could still wrap up some there but let's have it wrap around here for now. This is the tread size here, which is the so you can always make all the um, connections and stuff there. And I could always easily access inside here by taking all these screws and I get you could get again to the internals here. The water will be coming out and latching. This is where the quarter turn thing is here. I'm not going to be able to turn it with my hand. I can't get to unlock it with my hand right now, but it can just turn and actually come out. In the back here, you can actually see the little grooves there just to make it just rotate easy and come out here. Looks like it will need to actually be tightened down in order to get, to get a perfect grip on it here. My hand kind of will receipt will be able to hold on to it properly and the filter will be inside here so let's get that quick run on this here right so this is all be underneath the water onto the string here connect up when it raise up and float the string will latch against there and lock it and it's I think 36 inches of string there Does have a good a good depth to it and then you will just put the valve according to the height 
you want and then after you will tie your end here go through here and tie it so that you will be able to do how much you want there so you put it in here and you tie it here so it wouldn't come back out yeah let's adjust the length of suit so if you need it to be shorter you pull it shorter if you need it to be longer so I believe I don't know when I'll be able to install it in a tank or anything like that there's big we just basically buy a spare one right now just in case anything we have a spare one for emergency most likely they haven't give us any trouble or anything like that but it always good to have a spare we might buy our next tank and hook up there on our machine or something like that so it always good to have spare parts around you don't want to wait for a breakdown and then after you run into them to go and get a part so that's it for the mega flow this is the jobin valves here 